Hello everyone, this is Christy. Today I'm going to show you how, to, how I make my paper tassels. And I will start with the materials and a quick tutorial. But then at the end, I'm going to show you um, a do-it-yourself beads. And you will see how I made these beautiful beads. If you don't have um, beads with you, it, these are very easy alternative of, of how to make something to embellish your tassels and also um, a flower and you don't need any tools for this flower and this is how your tassel can look like okay so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let's start now these are all the paper tassels that i made and as you can see they look different um, i made big ones these ones are four inches that a paper that you had to cut is four inches and these small ones are three inches so you just need a piece of paper that is three by twelve three by twelve it can be ten or twelve so i use my scraps from um, the mini albums that i make and if you don't have a full piece of three by twelve inches you can um, connect with another paper that is similar for example this one is like about uh, nine and a half long and I added uh, I'm going to add a two and a half piece so I can complete the 12 inches uh, for this one and the piece that it's similar you can put it at the beginning because uh, you're going to start rolling from here and um, the one that it's pretty that you want to show it had to be on this edge um, some people might roll to the other side so be careful uh, the part that you want to show had to be at the end uh, last you are going to start rolling in the part that you don't like it, okay so this is um, for the paper and you can cut at four inches by 12 and do the same thing now you will need tacky glue or any kind of glue uh, to begin um, and you are going to need hot glue to put the embellishments on top then you will need um, scissors you will need um, if you want you can use stickles I'm gonna show you right now why stickles. Uh, let me see this one for example the paper is um, purple but um, it was kind of um, sad, I mean, <laughs> to, um, to do. So I put a stickles and it looks like the paper was like this and I like it. See, and it matches the, the um, embellishment that I put on top. So it, it looks much better with stickles. Then um, right here, for example, I didn't put stickles on on. On the top of the, the paper like I did in this one um, I just put a stickle and then I rub with my hand like this but in this one in this one I just put um, all the embellishments and everything and then I put stickles like little dots so it looks like the paper was embellished like that see so you can you, you can decorate your um, tassels the way you want and make it prettier. Now, for the top, you can use any kind of bead or you can um, use the small flowers, but it had to be like the very small ones. Okay, now I'm gonna show you one by one. My big ones are these three, okay? And I decorate them in a different way. Uh, as you can see these two they have um, big um, scraps of um, laces that I had and I want to use them and I put double then right here I just put these rhinestones and pearls and uh, bead on top and in this one I just put uh, flowers but it was too big and I wanted something that was like um, bigger around the flower so I put these pearls and then this is the same trim that I have up here 
and I just wrap around and I glue a little bit I glue a little bit and then keep wrapping and glue a little bit so when you look at the tassel it has it matches the, the embellishment with the thread right so then right here um, because the paper was uh, too light I put more embellishments right here I put this mesh bling and pearls and the flowers and this paper uh, I didn't have enough of this one and as you can see uh, right here I mixed up with another paper that was similar the color was similar but if you look inside see the pink is a little bit uh, darker but uh, the one that I wanted um, to show was this pretty paper that had a little bit of foil because it was going to look better right so you can decide how to decorate your um, your tassel and you can decide what paper you want to show how you want to embellish okay now those are the big ones and now I'm gonna show you the small ones for the small ones that I made some I made with these beads I had um, a bracelet with these big um, beads and it was different colors of beads and these rhinestones all together and it was colorful and um, I just cut the bracelet and use the beads for this one but for some of the beads um, the thread didn't go through like only for one like here I could pass the thread through the bead but for this one I don't know the it was smaller so it was hard to pass the, the thread and what I did is I use um this wire that I had in my stash and then made a loop and at the bottom I just um bent um a little piece of the wire and um make it like stuck the bead so it's like about half of an inch and then that goes in in the center then the bead when you put the hot glue um right here in this one you don't see the metal but I cover with this this um rhinestone that I have and right here too so you don't see this uh loop right here okay um I just wanted to to decorate a little more so I I put one of the pieces of these rhinestones on top on both sides and I think it looks better okay now these are my the, the beads and this is how I decorate them as you can see this paper the pink one was pink and a little bit of green but it didn't but it didn't uh, match very well so because I put these rhinestones I put more glitter glitter glue here to to decorate the paper and now I think it looks much better and for this one um, I just put double of this trim and then the same as the big one I just um, wrap around with the same trim that has on top and all these papers were scraps that I had in my stash and it has for example some of them are double sided and I chose the one that I wanted to show but um, because uh, you nobody's going to open it right so it, it looks it looks it looks fine showing just one side so <clears throat> then uh for the small ones oh here is another one with a bead and this is my purple one and as i told you this is double sided paper too as i told you i just uh, put the glitter glue and then just cover the the paper like this with my finger and then that's it so beautiful and now the other ones that i have with beads i mean with these rhinestones are um these ones and when you put the this rhinestone it's smaller than the paper so it 
it could show the paper around and I just put these beads and cover that seam between the rhinestone and the paper so as you can see right here you have to cover that part so nobody can see the union and then I embellish with um, everything that I have um, in my scraps for example this little piece of lace right here another one small one we just need like about two inches to wrap these ones so you can use a lot of your scraps and I love 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 how they look now I'm gonna show you the ones that has flowers is the three inches but it has flowers on top because I don't have more beads and I uh, just had the idea to put flowers on top and it looks very shabby too and you can decorate the same around with pearls and anything that you have and for example this paper is not double-sided paper but if you if you see that your paper is too thin just put a little more for example not 3 by 12 but you can put maybe a 3 by 12 and then another piece of 3 by 6 so it, it gets a little more thicker right if you just put a little bit it's going to be very um thin right um so those are the tassels that i made and i'm gonna show you um what can you use for example for the flowers you might have these small bunches this is small bunches uh this is from joanne's is fiskars and this is recollections you can use this one as well for each flower you need three and i'm going to show you um in a fast forward how i make the flowers and um you need three petals for each flower and you just need three flowers so you can mix up um your your flowers and look i have these ones uh these are from daiso and you can use it as well so it doesn't have to be a certain uh look right so you can have in your stash maybe small flowers and i had in my stash these um recollections um flower petals and there is a lot of them so i decided to use this one to make the flowers it was faster and they are already um the color that i want so i use these two and i don't need to punch them but um they are the same size as as this one um then uh, for the string you can use a chain metal chain i didn't put a chain on the top because i don't have it but you can if you have in if you uh, do jewelry you might have like some chain and um more wire i don't have it that's why i didn't put but um it will be very nice if you add a chain if you add a chain right here and maybe you can dangle things on top so <clears throat> for this one because i used the loop right here of the wire i had to um tie and i don't like it but this one goes on top wherever i'm going to um attach so it's not going to be bad and this one is a metallic cording i bought it at target and i use this floss that it's a uh, shimmery and i bought it from target long time ago i don't know if they still have it but this is we are memory keepers and it's floss and i really like it so you can use this kind uh if you have in your stash or you can buy for example this one this is um the dmc embroidery thread so it looks the same to hang it, this is 35 cents if you want to find any other color or any special uh cording or, or floss or anything i would recommend you to look in the embroidery section that's one of the things that you can find for the embellishments for example i use this one 
it had to be something small and a, for one wrap for example let's see for one wrap you just need a little piece just this tiny piece it's like about two inches so you don't need a lot look in your stash uh, if you're going to buy uh, buy something that is uh, like about less than one inch uh, half of an inch to one inch but not too big and then I have I had some scraps like this one and I use right here for my long one because if you put this one in the small one it doesn't look good it's too too long but it's up to you if you like it but um for this one I had the smaller pieces and I just needed two of these and I just glue around see uh then you might have you might have something like this it had to be something small and then they used to have like this um trims so you might um, use these ones the small ones i use something like this in white and it was like this see and yeah they have a lot of different um at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, so you can just decorate the way you want, the way you want. Then uh, for the embellishments on top, I had in my stash this mesh bling, and I just cut the piece that I needed, and then I just glue around. But um, not this thick, maybe one or two row, rows, right? So this is from Michaels and they have small ones like this too in different colors. Then um, you can use these stickers, um, pearls that comes in trims. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. It comes in trims. See? So when you take them, when you take them, you use it like this and roll around the... the um, the tassel but I put hot glue and then I put the, the pearl because it's it holds better if you just use the adhesive that it has it's going to get loose and this one that I had in my stash that I bought a um, long time ago and this is so beautiful I don't know if you can find something like this but this is very very pretty so something that shines like glitter it will be fine and i'm gonna show you right now how how i cut the paper so they can look like this like from the store all of them the same size see these ones are one fourth of an inch okay one fourth of an inch and if you have a cutter you are going to use the cutter like i do and um if you don't have a cutter, maybe you can trace the lines and cut carefully, okay? So I'm going to show you right now how, to, how I do and what is the easy, easier way. Okay, let's make this one that, that is out of um, two scraps, okay? I'm going to use my, um, here, my cutter. I have this cutter and I think um, that most of you have it. Um, but if you don't have or you have something similar, it's going to be the same thing. So this is supposed to be 12 inches. And look, this side is from the top of the paper. But um, this one is going to be hidden. So you can use that too. I'm going to just try to cut like about half. I'm not measuring but uh, you can do the this way okay so <clears throat> because i'm going to roll start rolling the paper from this side so this part is going to be hidden behind and then this one right here okay so i'm going to glue and i'm going to start i'm going to start like um this one right here 
you just put a little bit of glue and then this is the part that you're going to show so you're going to put behind and you can put like right here at the edge okay and now this scrap we are going to glue right here see I just put a little bit of glue and now I'm going to put the scrap here and I try do not overlap just try to put next to it see it is okay if you have more of one uh, of the papers that's fine because when you roll it's going to be inside um the this side yes it had to be not exactly it can be like a little more everything it's going to be fine uh when you roll it changes it moves the paper so i'm going to um just cut again this part because it's not too pretty and i'm going to use my okay now how i cut the paper this is about three by six but it, it's double how do i cut the paper it's easy i begin right here this is the center right this is the center okay where you're going to cut and this one the first line right here is one quarter of an inch see so i'm going to start cutting there and do you see this part up here it's like about half of an inch so you are going to start cutting there and try to stop where this one lines on the side okay so then you have one half of an inch here then move the paper and do the same see then move the paper one fourth of an inch more and do the same and keep going until you are, are done right here when you are in the middle um, you can turn the paper to this side now and you can start doing the same thing for the to the other side if you cannot hold that side anymore okay you're going to do the same and press very well so you cut the two papers together if you are going to use scissors you have to draw the lines or else it's not going to be um, the same white each of the flakes Ooh. and that's it now that you have the paper cut you are going to move a little bit like uh, bending the paper so you can roll better and you're going to start gluing right here I mean on this side right the side that um, you um, just put the paper you are going to start rolling but then you're going to put glue so it's better to do it without glue so the paper um, can be folded easily and don't don't worry if you just cut it cut go all the way through you can uh, continue gluing the paper so mine is going to be fine now what I'm going to do is to attach the string before I continue okay if you're going to use the bead uh, you you have the bead ready with the metal and you can just put glue and put it on top of the paper 
but if you are going to add the flowers you are going to attach the string first for this color for example i'm going to add this baking twine and i'm going to cut just a piece you can decide how long you want the how long you want the thread for example um, um i think this is going to be fine so i'm going to make a knot make a knot and i'm going to start gluing this one right here but this is too long so i'm going to cut this one i don't need to hang a lot so i'm going to um hide this knot inside and i begin here see i just hide the knot and then i'll start rolling the paper then i add hot glue sometimes not not all the way and you keep going see keep going And it's going to look like this see now you can put your flowers right here you need three flowers and you are going to have your tassel for the small flowers like this you will need you will need uh, three petals like I have right here okay you have a rose and we are going to put these three roses right here you hold this one up okay like this then you're going to put glue right here and on the thread on one side and on the thread and you're going to put a flower like sitting on top of this paper and then you're going to put two more right here you hold the, the, the string up and then you put the glue and then you put next to the other one and you have room for one more. And then when you put this one right here you are going to press the flowers and see if they are in the center you are going to press like this and this one had to be in the center too and now your tassel is ready to embellish on the sides see first i'm going to put the Pearls around very close right here to the flower. Once mine has the the pearls, I'm going to put the, the lace or the trim right here. 
and I chose this one and I'm going to put the trim right here so I start right here I put very close to the pearls see and I think I'm going to cut up here So I need just this piece. And that's it. And you just uh, press before the glue dries and push all the way next to the pearls. You just press and make it look pretty, right? And that's it this I uh, it's ready and if you don't want this one to be too stiff you can um, grab this part up here and make like this bend the paper a little bit I like it like this but some people like it um, to to the other side so this is how it looks and if you want you can add some glitter glue uh, for example this one um, is it's colorful but it needs a little more accent so I can add um, this glitter glue is a uh, stickles in crystal but it has kind of green and pink um, so I can add this one and maybe I can add dots just a small dots and that gives a beautiful accent to to the paper it looks like the paper was special with um with with this um glitter see and that's it and this is how it looks and when it dries looks much better like like this see now I'm gonna show you what I made instead of the um, small flowers, if you don't have punches or beads, I made my own flower and you don't need any tool. And that's an option if you don't have any flowers to put on top. Then I made my own beads and I'm going to show you step by step how I made them. Um, these are chunky beads. So I'm going to start now with the tutorial of the flower and the beads and here is what i thought um on how to make a flower uh, a flower for the top instead of um the small flowers if you don't have the, the bunches or you cannot buy the those flowers um so you have to prepare your tassel and you are going to have the string on top and you will need another paper for the flower and I am going to use this cardstock in white because it matches the color of this paper. And it's about three inches. This circle, this circle that I cut is about three inches. It doesn't have to look very perfect, so you don't need punches. And you are going to cut like about um, about one quarter of an inch. Okay about one quarter of an inch, a little more than one quarter of an inch all around. See, this one right here is about one quarter of an inch. Okay, a little more, but it's not half of an inch. So you're going to keep going 
like a spiral and you're going to go all the way um, like when you have a little circle right here you can just stop and cut that circle away now can you see this part up here you're going to make it round okay now okay this part it's easy but now you are going to you are going to cut this tip a little bit um you are going to do very nice waves right here on top because that's the the one that is going to look the most so then you have to do it carefully like beautiful waves all around if you can draw them it's better so you you can have a nice flower but i'm doing it just with my my scissors just by looking to the paper make small waves not too long ones and keep all the way to the end like that see and it's going to look like this so now you're going to begin right here and you're going to roll, okay? You're going to start rolling. And you have to do it before we put the flower on top of the tassel. I try different kinds of flowers, but this one is the one that looks much better. That's why I'm, I'm showing you that with this one, it's going to look very nice if you don't have the small flowers or beads to have a, a beautiful rose is to make a small waves okay with the scissors that's why you if you um can draw it with pencil 
is going to be better. For the bead that we are going to make, you will need a piece of paper that is 12 inches by half of an inch. Okay, so you just cut half of an inch by 12. Then you are going to, uh, if you want, you can fold the paper at two inches and then from here all the way to the center of the half of an inch. So you just cut this one to the, all the way to the center of the end. And now we are going to use a toothpick to roll the paper and you are going to put glue. After you roll the paper, you are going to put glue just a little bit. See? So you continue and that part is going to be glue. And then you can continue um, rolling without putting glue. have a bead but this one you can um, for this bead so it can look much better you're going to hold it with um, with a toothpick uh, you can add some glitter or you can add some sequins or um, seed beads on top and make it fuller okay this is just the base of the bead um, if you put it like this, it had to be embellished with something on top. So I'm going to um, put some seed beads on top. And I'm going to show you how I do. Okay, you will need a scratch of paper. And I have an old envelope right here. And you have um, the, the bead. And you are going to glue, put glue on top. This is how it's how it looks. It looks like a chunky bead, and it when it dries, you just can can push a little bit and make it very very round, and let it dry. And it's so beautiful. Okay, now we are going to um, use sequins. Okay, and you have to um, have them in the center, like this the sequence and you are going to add um hot glue okay you one uh, line at a time This is going to be a gorgeous bead that you can add to your paper tassel 
you just put the string through it through this hole and then uh, you can add on top of your paper tassel too okay so you um, learn how to make these two beads if you don't uh, have any beads um, you can use glitter as well cover the the bead the paper bead with glitter and then just embellish on top of uh, the tassel with any of these I hope you like my tutorial on how to make these beautiful paper tassels. Thank you very much for watching my videos, for all your comments, for your likes, and for subscribing to my channel. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.